beautiful day outside. It is uh, Memorial Day weekend. Looks like there's going to be some serious barbecuing going on this weekend. The sun is shining and a uh, rare, rare beautiful day out. And I'm inside the garage, standing and getting ready to paint. Um, Chuck just got the slats finished here, uh, cutting out the blocks and the actual slats themselves. I'm getting them sanded up and I hope we'll be able to get our first coat of paint on this afternoon. Uh, we are going to be back in the boat uh, evening of the 7th. So we've got a lot of work to do and if the weather remains as is we should be able to knock these out pretty darn quick. These are the slats that are going to go in the hanging lockers. Uh, they're going to be painted white and it'll look completely different back there uh, but they'll be all plasticized and uh, waterproof and again painted white so they'll be able to handle the moisture no problem. That was one of the big problems we always had with those two lockers is they were um, not good for wet stuff. Got kind of dark and moldy and gross back there in those hanging lockers. So we're opening them up, brightening them up, and making them quite a bit more usable. Should be uh, a really nice cool space. Yeah. Been kind of a crazy busy week at the clinic, so I haven't gotten much done. Uh, it's porcupine season. Uh, we just got called out this morning. Uh, Sweet Arrow, um, five-year-old new to Petersburg, has only been here a short time. Just met his first porcupine in town. This is a real outdoor dog then, eh? Yeah. He's had some experiences. Some true Alaskan experiences. It looks like he's got his paw in a trap. That's lost, what happened, yeah. Lost some toes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what happened. Just left the big paw, but notice how the the big metal pad has increased in size. Yeah, yeah. See the difference? Yeah. So it's adapted by expanding. So, that's really cool. uh -huh. so there's a point of that thing. That's yeah. the big okay. Right there. And all that so. hair is just naturally gone and it's uh -huh. just grown up. Yep. Huh. And that's where it's amputated right there. Yeah. So. Did you find a porcupine quill? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Make sure we didn't miss any. Yeah, they like to bat them sometimes. Yeah. So when they bat the porcupine, they get them in there. And the, sometimes if it's dead, they roll in it. 
Ooh. And so that <laughs> sometimes could be the most dangerous situation because they can go through the chest wall or into the spine. There's been cases like that where the quills go into the spine or chest wall. There was one dog in Cordova some years ago, <clears throat> owned by a doctor, and uh, uh, they didn't put it together at first, but they they uh, found the dog dead on the back porch, and so they brought it to me to do a necropsy. Um, and so we did a necropsy, we found a quill that was in the, the right where the conductive fibers of vagus nerve go into the heart to, to uh, regulate the heart. So it stopped the heart, the quill stopped the heart in my case. Oh my. And you said it had just touched, it wasn't even there. Yeah, yeah, I mean it's just barely, it's, it's like it. it. Okay, Arrow. <laughs> Chuck and I just finished a brunch of pancakes and I am out in the garage sanding. So these are the corner pieces we just got cut and once I get those slats finished I'll start getting these sanded down and I think when we get back on the boat next week is when we'll uh, start getting these assembled. Um, beautiful pieces of wood. It's going to really brighten up the whole whole interior of the boat quite a lot. So looking forward to seeing what uh, Chuck has in mind with these. I'm not quite visualizing it quite yet myself, but just like the um, uh, bunk piece, he wasn't quite visualizing what I had in mind either. And um, This whole project he's done just a phenomenal job. Uh, the sketchbook he's got going. Um, I hope he sits down and uh, shares some of those pictures because uh, what he sketched out originally is almost identical to what is we're ending up with and uh, nah, she's going to be a real real pretty little boat when we're done with this project so looking forward to sharing that with everyone at the very end and we are going to have a huge party when she's done that's for sure <laughs> alright so these are the pieces that I'll be uh, starting on sanding this afternoon and again uh, these are the slats and those hopefully should be done in about three or four days if we have some continual good weather and I don't get called out for any more porcupines. We'll see. How's it going, Chuck? It's going good. Happy Memorial Day. Is it is that an appropriate thing to say? Happy Memorial Day. <laughs> uh, Depends, I suppose. <laughs> so you are just finishing up the slats here, looks like. Yeah, and putting them together. A little jig here to get them all. Um, Get everything lined up nicely so I get the holes and the screws and everything are straight and the spacing is right. <laughs> Using the tools we have. <laughs> These are the slats that are going in the hanging locker. Right. And after you're done with these, I get to give them their final sand. And then we've decided, have we decided are we going to do epoxy first or are we just going to paint? Um, epoxy first, I think. I don't think we've changed our mind about that, have we? Uh, and we've gone back and forth a couple of times, I think. 
Well, it's, it's going to be wet in there for one thing. For another thing, the epoxy is a primer for the paint. So um, we'll use less paint if we prime it, and everything will be less susceptible to water damage if we prime it. So we might as well prime it. We've got the stuff. We might as well do it. It'll take a couple of extra days to do that. But, you know, what's a couple of days <laughs> at this point? I think everybody, it's funny because, you know, the number of uh, refits that we've seen that people start and, and then they go into like year three and four and, you know, you, maybe folks are wondering why that happens, but seems to be a pretty common thing theme amongst uh, there's two things boaters there's two things like the number of hours the number of hours that you would spend on something like this and I calculated it the same way I would have calculated you know a job in a, a motorcycle service department there takes a certain number of people a certain number of hours to accomplish a task and you break it down that way and then but there's also you know it's one thing if you can do it in a workshop set it up, do the work, and move on. It's another thing altogether if you have to set up and take down, set up and take down. If you have a shop, sometimes you have a drill press available, sometimes you have to use one of these, sometimes you have a bandsaw, sometimes you don't. Sometimes it's too cold. Sometimes it's too cold, <laughs> too wet, and the paint won't dry, and the epoxy won't cure. And, and sometimes life just happens, too. Sometimes life just happens, and you get sick. <laughs> something of that nature. Or, so, or you're working or you know there's yeah we're, we're trying to eke a, eke a living out here too while we're doing all of this so there's a lot of stuff to be done. Boy those sure look pretty. Yeah they're gonna look even prettier when they're all finished. Yep they surely are. Cool. All right well I'll uh, get back in the kitchen and finish cleaning. We just uh, had Dr. Hill over for uh, yep. brunch Back this in the morning. kitchen woman. <laughs> I'll leave you to it, and uh, let me know when you're done, and then I'll okay. switch off, and we'll come out and start sanding. Cut those. Oh, that yeah, would be you. <laughs> yeah, all right. Hey, bud. How are you? Huh? Hey, buddy. Aww. Did you get that mean old porcupine, did you? It's not the first time. Uh, this is about the tenth time. <laughs> Push. Come on, bud. I got three out for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And we are showing these to overdue for babies in December. Do yeah. You want to whatever. And do that while we get them here. Did you have a fun meal? Yeah. Um, You should go home with Rimbadil. Oh wow. Well. She found it in the uh, toy box at Goodwill. <laughs> <laughs> they were having a sale on it to see all the toys. Yeah, it was a dollar and they went had it on at half price. Oh. Yeah. <laughs>
You want to do the honors on that one? Get all those done? As many as I can reach. Well, doesn't all this look familiar? I think this is the third coat of uh, primer Laura has on these. No, it's the second. Second coat of uh, epoxy primer on these slats. And these are going to, they're going to get painted. They're not going to be uh, natural wood like this. They're going to get painted, and these are the ceiling for the midships lockers. Nothing really exciting going on. We're just doing more of the same stuff that we've been doing. But the end is in sight. We're almost there. Hey, listen, if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. Share with your friends, and by all means, subscribe. Oh, and leave a comment below. Also, if you'd like to see more and get your content without advertising, check us out on Patreon. There should be a link over there.